What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. And here we are, finally, six months later, doing another staff application video here on Invade Lands. And for anybody who might not be aware, I am a manager here on Invade Lands. So when I come across some silly, funny little staff applications here, I decided to save them and share them with you all. So yeah, uh, we're gonna read them for you. And like always, I have censored everyone's name, so obviously you don't know who this is. That way we can, you know, just kind of poke fun at the silly little things people say without actually mocking anybody as always and if you guys do like this video please be sure to like button and subscribe it's only two clicks and both tremendously help out the video and it really means a lot to me and I mean you can always unsubscribe later if you want and if you really want to you can consider subscribing to my twitch channel I do plan on streaming there on a near daily basis from now on I'm not 100% positive what I'm gonna be streaming probably just like some events maybe looking at some staff applications live a hardcore series who knows if you have any ideas please be sure to leave them down in the comments below so yeah, with that, let's just jump into this video and read some hilarious staff applications. Woo! So there is a set list of requirements that you have to meet. You have to, you know, a part of the server for a certain amount of time, have a certain amount of staff experience, all of that. Otherwise, you're going to be immediately denied, even if you don't fit one of those requirements. And this person somehow managed to miss, like, nearly every requirement. How long have you been playing on Invader Lands? Not that long. Not long enough, I checked. Do you have a functioning microphone? No. Are you able to record videos of hackers? No. <laughs> You need all of this. What skills do you have that you feel will help the community? I am a friendly and chill dude and an enthusiastic person. Totally having an enthusiastic person in a community can help raise spirits and members of that total player base. That's nice. Yeah, but we're, we're kind of looking for people who can know the rules and, and, and punish people properly. That, that would be nice. What past moderating experiences do you have? I was a moderator on a server called Blank. There, I dealt with hackers and cheaters. Blank server is either closed or has a different IP. I'm not sure. I tried to log on one day and couldn't. So I left. What? <laughs> So you were staff on a server, right? You just the, you're a moderator chilling, doing your moderator duties, and then one day you can't log on to the server, and so you just left. <laughs> what? You're a moderator on a server. You have troubles connecting one day, and you're like, "Oops, I guess that's it. Um, bye." Bye-bye. Bye. I'm done now. Did, like, no one tell you the server was gonna shut down? Or did the server not shut down and you just uh, had connections is issues one day? I don't know. Why did you just leave without asking questions? It's just... <laughs> Oh my gosh. Later, he replied to his staff application saying, I'm also a decent builder who has a creative mind for building. My guy, does this look like a builder application to you? No, it's a staff application. I don't know if you guys remember that last staff app video six months ago, but like everyone always mentions their building skills in their staff application. This is a moderator application, not a builder application. I don't care about your building skills. Stop telling me about them. Obviously, this one was denied. Yeah, let's just move on to the next one. How long have you been playing? on Invader Lands. Five plus months. Are you sure about that? I think you meant to write something else down, like five plus days, because that's when you joined. You, you joined the server five days ago. <laughs> I love how people still just assume we can't check information like that. Have you ever been punished on Invader Lands? Never! And don't intend on getting punished anytime- Banned for cheating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was banned. I forget what it was. I think it was like a few days later after this was denied. So yeah, I guess he, he wasn't happy that his moderator application was denied. What skills do you feel you have that will help the community? I am personally more of a rule, a builder, and I am extremely good at building. I don't care. <laughs> That's the only skills he mentions, again, that he's a good builder. He later replied saying, Side note, I'm on the hub right now, and I'm getting 180 MS in the 500 FPS. You, is that bad? Do you want me to fix this for you? I, wh what is, how is this pertinent to your moderator application? Denied. Moving on. How long have you been playing on Avanalance? Around one day. And I played on my friend's account, though. Hey, at least you didn't lie. You were honest. I mean, I can still deny you on that alone, but at least you didn't lie. What skills do you feel you have that will help the community? I can cooperate with people wells. I can tell that you can cooperate well with that amazing grammar. Good job. I get along with people also good. I can be very strict and stern sometimes though, which can seem toxic. But trust me, I am not toxic. Sounds like something a 
toxic person would say. <laughs> you never hear a genuinely nice person say they're not toxic. It's always the super mean people that are always like, oh, I'm not mean, I'm nice. I'm nice, trust me. What past moderating experiences do you have, by the way? Oh, you've never moderated? This would be your first time? No, no, it's not. Goodbye, denied, moving on. So one common thing I also see all the time is people lying, but only about their age. They don't lie about other things that would get them denied. They only lie about their age. They always say they're 14, because that's the minimum age you can be to apply for staff on Evadalance. So they always say they're 14. What is your age? 14. How long have you been playing on Evadalance? Like three months, because I didn't buy Minecraft, and before three months, I buy Minecraft, which is fantastic grammar, by the way. What past moderating experiences do you have? I am a Discord server owner. We specifically say you need moderating experiences on a Minecraft server, but you're not gonna lie and say, oh, I've been staff on my friend server, or something like that. Not that I'm encouraging lying, but why do people only lie about part of their applications? Any other information you want to give us? I will make Skeppy's videos better and funny. Please, I want to be staff. There it is. <laughs> oh, the real reason everyone wants to be staff. Never mind the fact that Skeppy has not uploaded a, a video on Evade Lands in how long? Um, the best I can tell, I think it was four months ago. <laughs> You're definitely gonna make his videos better. Not not Bad Boy Halo or anything like that. You're gonna gonna be Bad Boy Halo than you. You're gonna be better than Bad Boy. You're gonna make it all better. Oh my gosh, I don't even know what to say about that. But yeah, obviously denied. And let's just move on to the next one. What is your age? 14. Again, more lies. Fantastic. How long you've been playing on Evidence? Two years. Also another lie. You've been playing the server for about seven months, which I find odd why you would lie about that. Because seven months is long enough for you to apply for staff. So why would you lie and say two years? That's not any better. <laughs> What skills do you feel you have that will help the community? Staying up to 10 hours to catch hackers. That's your skill, just having no life and being on the server for 10 hours to catch hackers, even though we have an anti-cheat to already catch hackers and that's not really a primary goal. <laughs> oh man. Why would you be a good fit for staff? Funny, helpful. Any other information? F. Oh shoot, these people are weird. Denied, moving on. What is your age? 20? one. Yeah, I, 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 I totally believe you're the same age as me. Yep, yep, I definitely believe that. Mm -hmm. How long you've been playing on Invaderlands? Five months. That's a lie. I checked. It's been a few weeks. So, have you ever been punished on Invaderlands? No. You know, he was truthful about that. He has never been punished. But ten days after he submitted his application, he was banned for cheating. So yes, he actually has been. He's he's currently banned for cheating. He's he's done. I'm amazed at how many people literally just start cheating once their moderator application gets denied. What past moderating experiences? Do you have i know not to grieve <laughs> that's it that's all you have it's like i don't, I don't know what does a moderator do I, I know you're not supposed to grief but like beyond that i don't know my favorite part is at the end here why would you be a good fit for staff because i will be able to catch hackers or upgrade the server what do you mean or shouldn't that be and like you can catch hackers and upgrade the server and what do you even mean by upgrade the server do you mean you're gonna like physically hand us money like here buy better hosting upgrade the server what is your age? 10. Well, at least you didn't lie, so props to you. How long you've been playing on Evadalands? A few months now, which is a lie. You've only been playing for one whole day. They made their application December 19th, and they first joined the server December 18th, so yeah, one whole day. Have you ever been punished on Evadalands? No. And again, that was true, but two weeks later, after he was denied, yet again, another person banned for cheating. What is with the insane amount of people just cheating after they get denied? What past moderating experiences do you have? I have never been staff before. Why would you be a good fit for staff? I feel like I would make a good staff because I've had some staff experiences on Hypixel and Hive. What? <laughs> you just said to me, I've never been staffed before. Then two paragraphs later, you say, I have had some staff experience on Hypixel and Hive. <gasps> How long have you been playing on Invaderland? One and one fourth years. That seems oddly specific. I'm gonna check really quick. Oh, you've only been here for a little over a month. Good job, nice lie. What skills do you feel you have that will help the community? Working hard. I am good at coding in Python and Lua. Lua? Who the heck writes code in Lua? I barely even know what that coding language is. That's like bottom tier coding language right there. That's enough to make me want to deny you right here and now. Why would you be a good fit for staff? I might be able to make new new things, I have good building taste. Let, let me recap really quick. This person has bragged about their coding skills in Python and Lua, and then they've bragged about their 
building skills, but nowhere, nowhere in this application does it actually say they've had past staffing experiences. This is not a developer application. This is not a builder application. It's a moderator application. Please, you gave me all the information I don't care about. <gasps> What is your age? 20. That's totally believable. How long have you been playing on Evadalands? Two weeks. And now this, surprising enough, this is a lie. But it's not what you're thinking, right? It's not like they've only been a part of the server one day and they said it's two weeks. No, 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 no. They went in the other direction. They've actually been a part of the server for over one month. It's like one and a half months they've been a part of the server. But they said it's only been two weeks. Never before in my life have I seen someone lie and say they've been a part of the server for less time than they actually have. Any other information you want to give us? I don't. Don't want to be paid. <laughs> I should hope not. This is a volunteer. What in the world makes you think you're gonna get paid to be a moderator on a Minecraft server? Nobody gets paid to just be a moderator. He even says I won't be on too much. He's like, you know, just, I don't need to be paid. You know, it's fine. I'll do it for free. Whatever. <laughs> Let me give you a little bit of a, a, a little bit of spicy knowledge, a little bit of information for you. Across every Minecraft server I've been on in the past 10 years, not a single moderator is in a paid position. Not one single one. Some admins also don't get paid. Generally speaking, you've got the owner that gets paid, the developer that gets paid, and then the highest ranking admins sometimes on some servers get paid, depending on what type of work they do for the server they might get paid. But other than that, nobody else gets paid. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, obviously, denied. Let's move on to the last one here. Now, I found something interesting at the start of this one, right? He says his time zone is mountain. Now, what I assume by this, there's the mountain time zone in the United States of America. I'll show a map. And then, where do you live? Australia. Now, last I checked, there's no mountain time zone. Ooh, that was a nice voice break. Now, last I checked, there is no mountain time zone in Australia. And my question is, why would you lie? Either way, why would you lie? Why would you either pretend to live in America or why would you pretend to live in Australia? We don't care where you live. It's just a handy piece of information for us to know. How long you've been playing on a Vaderlands? He says one year. In reality, they've been playing for a few days. Any other information you want to give us? I am not a great builder. I don't care. My account got hacked one year ago. I also don't care not great at pvp wow fantastic three things i don't care about <laughs> oh it's like you know we're right on the fence about accepting this guy like mm, i kind of want to accept him oh what's that oh he's not great at pvp oh we're gonna have to deny him then all our staff members must be fantastic at pvp <laughs> what skills do you feel you have that will help the community i am very creative and i could think of things to build like maps no <laughs> i don't care if you're a builder i don't care i don't care i <laughs> Ah! Anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember, hit that like button, subscribe, follow me on Twitch, give me some ideas on what you want to see me stream on Twitch in the comments down below. Let me know. And with that, I will see you guys Wednesday. I believe Wednesday with another video. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Um, With that, uh, bye. <laughs>